Arc welding is a fusion welding process, in which coalescence of the metal is achieved by the heat from an electric arc between an electrode and the work. A power supply creates an electric arc between a consumable or non-consumables electrode and the base material using either direct or alternating currents. Two basic types of arc welding electrodes are, consumable and non-consumable electrodes. Consumable electrodes are consumed during welding process and they are source of filler metal in arc welding. While non-consumable electrode are not consumed during welding process, and the filler metal must be added separately. The electrode are generally coated, although the exact type of coating varies. While uncoated rods are available, they are far less common, creates more spatter and can make it difficult to control the arc. Coated rods are better to reduce or eliminate contaminating oxides or sulfur. The three types of coating include cellulose, minerals are a combination of the two. Whether coated or uncoated, the correct rod needs to be selected to create clean strong welds with the right bead quality. The major problem that arises in arc welding is the contamination of the metal with elements in the atmosphere. This can be reduced by arc shielding or shielding gases. An inert gas such as argon, helium and carbon, 2, oxide is blown into the weld zone to drive away other atmospheric gases. There can also be a problem with the surface that is not clean. And the solution to it is by using flux. A flux is a substance that prevents formations of oxides and other contaminants in welding or dissolves them and facilitates their removal. It also provides protective atmosphere for welding, stabilizes arc and reduces spattering. Various ways to apply flux. By pouring granular flux onto welding process, by using stick electrode coated with flux materials that melt during welding to cover operation, by using tubular electrodes in which flux is contained in the curve and released as electrode is consumed. Various parts, tools for arc welding process, welding machine, power is supply from the source to the welding machine, then to the electrode cable down to electrode holder. Cables, the function is to deliver the current to the electrode holder from the machine. Holder, this is used to hold the electrode. Electrode, this creates the spark when contacting the workpiece. Hand gloves, they are used for safety purpose while performing welding operation. Goggles, the temperature in arc welding processes is too high which can damage the naked eye. Therefore, the goggles is used to prevent damage to the eye. Chipping hammers, it's used to remove welding slag from a weld and welding spatter from alongside welds. Wire brush, it's used for cleaning the welding surface, removal of slag, rust etc. Arc welding working principle. An AC or DC power source is connected by work cable to the workpiece and by an electrode cable to electrode holder of some type, which makes electrical contact with the welding electrode. When the workpiece is mounted, we have to maintain a 2 to 3 mm gap because, when you directly touch it, it might get sticked and do vibrates. An arc is created across the gap when the energized circuit and the electrode tip touches the workpiece and is withdrawn still within close contact. The arc produces a temperature of about 6500 degrees Celsius at the tip. This heat melts both the base metal and the electrode producing a pool of molten metal sometimes called a creator. The creator solidifies behind the electrode as it is moved along the joint. This result is a fusion bond. Types of arc welding. Arc welding can be categorized into two different types. They are, consumable and non-consumable electrode methods. Consumables consist of, metal inert gas, shielded metal arc welding, flux cord arc welding, submerged arc welding, electrogas welding. For non-consumable electrode they include, tungsten inert gas welding, plasma arc welding. A brief description of these various types. Metal inert gas welding, also known as gas metal arc welding, uses a consumable bare metal wire as electrode with shielding by flooding arc with a gas. 
Wire is fed continuously and automatically from a spool through the welding gun. Shielding gases including argon and helium for aluminum welding, and carbon, 2, oxide for steel welding. Bare electrode wire plus shielding gases eliminate slag on weld bead. Shielded metal arc welding, also known as manual metal arc welding, flux shielded arc welding, stick welding. Uses a consumable electrode, consisting of a filler metal rod coated with chemical, that provides flux and shielding. Simultaneous melting of the flux coating on the rod, will form gas and slag which protects the weld pool from the surrounding atmosphere. Flux cord arc welding, this is an adaptation of shielded metal arc welding, to overcome limitation of stick electrodes. Uses a continuously fed consumable flux cord electrode and a constant voltage power supply, which provides a constant arc length. This process either uses a shielding gas or just the gas created by the flux, to provide protection from contamination. Submerged arc welding, a frequently used process, with a continuously fed consumable electrode and a blanket of fusible flux which becomes conductive when molten, providing a current path between the part and the electrodes. The flux also helps prevent spatter and sparks, while suppressing fumes and ultraviolet radiations. Electro-gas welding, uses a continuous consumable electrode, flux cord wire or bare wire, with externally supplied shielding gases and molding shoes, to contain molten metal. Tungsten inert gas welding, also known as gas tungsten arc welding, uses a non-consumable tungsten electrode, to create the arc and an inert gas for arc shielding. Used with or without a filler metal. When a filler metal is used, it is added to weld pool from separate rod or wire. Plasma arc welding, a special form of gas tungsten arc welding, in which a constructed plasma arc is directed at weld area. Tungsten electrode, is contained in a nozzles that focuses a high velocity stream of inert gas, argon, into arc region to form a high velocity intensely hot plasma arc stream. Temperature in plasma arc welding reached 28,000, due to constriction of arc, producing a plasmic jet of small diameter and very high density. Arc welding advantages. The process gives high deposition rates. Welding speed is high. Wire consumption is low. The consumption of electrical energy is low. Any length can be welded without any interruption. High quality welds can be achieved with no fusion defects, no porosity and slag inclusion. Arc welding disadvantages. High skilled operator required to perform an operation. Arc is invisible. It can be controlled only by measuring arc voltage and current. It can be used only in the downhand welding position. Arc welding application. In construction industries. In shipbuilding. In farm equipment. In lawns and garden. In highway equipment. In institutional equipment. In railway department.